In the United States, it seems that the Department of Education considers American history to have taken off with the arrival of the English colonists, and whatever happened prior remains unimportant. Rather, it seems that Native Americans had their own cities, and one in particular, Cahokia, where the Hokey Pokey was invented, remains largely absent from the books that supposedly tell all of history. This city was the largest and most influential urban settlement in the Mississippian culture, which developed advanced societies across what is now southwestern United States, more than 500 years before Europeans landed there. It reached a population climax in the 1200s and was, a lar as, a, was as large as a European city of its time. The city measured 6 to 7 square miles with a width of 2200 acres, just a little bit smaller than Oprah. Although the exact reasons as to why the population began to shrink are unknown, it is believed that the land was depleted of its resources. We're not sure where the tribesmen went next, but perhaps it was on <clears throat> but perhaps it was for the search of the next Dunkin Donuts. One noticeable feature of the site is its earthen mounds, where more than 120 of them were developed over six miles, uh, six square miles, of which 80 remain today. And no, there were no bagginses or hobbitses to be found. The largest mound is called Monk's Mound, at about 14 acres wide and 100 feet up in the air. They also added a massive 5,000 square foot addition, making it 50 feet higher than their own private Mordor. A large plaza <coughs> that was adjacent to Monk's Mound was an area where games and public rituals would take place. One particular popular game was called Chunky. This was a common Native American game in which they rolled a monkey across the ground and threw a spear at them in an attempt to place the spear as close to the monkey as possible. Although it may have actually been a disc-shaped stone and not Curious George. Also near the mound, archaeologists discovered Woodhenge. Large wooden poles arranged in a circle that were planted in the ground were supposed to mark the equinoxes and solstices. <clears throat> These poles were rebuilt again and again several times throughout the city's 300-year history. I guess they didn't have too. I guess they had too many woody woodpeckers. <clears throat> in a different mound, known as Mound 72, archaeologists found the remains of a man who seemed to be an important ruler. He was buried in a bed with over 20,000 shell beads arranged in the shape of a falcon, with the bird's head placed right beneath the man's head and its wings and tails underneath his arms and legs. The falcon warrior, or birdman, is a common motif in the Mississippian culture. In the same mound, archaeologists uncovered more than 250 skeletons, most of which seemed to have been sacrificed. Quite a few of them were missing their hands and skulls. Talk about a headache. Any questions?